So with my art, I've been focusing on the theme of tragedy and different like political and historical events as well as like personal tragedies that have happened. It comes out mostly in the form of collage. I have all these magazines. I start by like ripping out the pages and cutting up different images and I piece them together to take like the meaning of the image and pull them all together and create a bigger meaning that I want to communicate. So I focused on tragedy because once the tragedy is over, it starts to be ignored and people forget about it. it. You have to remind ourselves that these happened and that the lessons we're supposed to have learned, otherwise they're going to happen again. Now I kind of like to use the analogy of like a slap in the face and just wake people up to what we've done. So with the RAM Portfolio Award, winning that was really nice because not only was it like praise for just a single piece, but it was acknowledging that over time I'm still able to pr produce quality work. When I go to museums or when I look at art, I really, what attracts my eye the most is things that look like more realistic to me, things that I can, it looks like I can touch them almost. Those are the things that draw me the most. So like when I look, in, look at my art, I think about how realistic it can make it. I kind of started drawing for my sister because I was little. And then my parents would give me paint. I, th I remember this is one piece I made where it was like three flowers and they really liked it. So they hung it up in their wall in the living room and stuff. So ever since then, my, my dad and my mom really wanted me to keep drawing and keep going with what I wanted to do. I want people to look at my artwork and understand that we're all one. So right now I'm working on 12 pieces for my concentration and it's all based on different cultures around the world coming together, you know. And I just want us to understand each other, where we're coming from, where, all, where our cultures are coming from, from a different perspective. My artwork is very detail oriented and it has a more realistic tone to it. I work from the perspective of a picture and I like to capture all the colors and vibrancies of the work. My concentration this year for my AP portfolio is food and it's based off the food I'm not able to eat due to allergies and I've been capturing all of the colors inside the food. The media I like to use is colored pencil. I like having people take their own different perspectives on it and what inspires me um, for artwork is to show my own self through it. I'm a very colorful person, I have colorful hair and I like to show that through my artwork and the detail part is just my perfectionism and I want it to look as good as it can. This year I made two different pieces into the Rockford Art Museum and I had two pieces hung up in, for all city. It's nice to see my art pieces hung up and other people to enjoy them. Well, my interest with art kind of began when I was really young. It started off with things like, oh, I want to draw the coolest laser gun and the coolest zombie and cool stuff like that when you're little. And then uh, as I got older, it kind of matured and turned into an interest for like the arts. Uh, when I came here, Miss Stockton definitely still helped to like mold it a lot and kind of turned me into an artist, like showing me what the real value in art is. Ex I mean, self-expression, I guess, is a part of it, but for me a lot more it's kind of questioning things. I don't really answer many questions in a lot of my pieces so much as just trying to ask them and get other people to think about things. It's not, I, I like to play devil's advocate and kind of take the other side of things and just kind of question why people think the way that they do. It's great to be recognized and have things like scholarships and awards and, you know, I mean, nominations for things like that given to you. But uh, one of the most rewarding things is kind of just people's reactions to the pieces. I would pay anything to just put a piece up at a gallery and just kind of sit on a bench behind the piece and watch people react to it.